storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Powder puff, Pastor John Gray, powder puff. Him in his belly. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me stand like him. Hold on. Let me get over here. Hold on, I gotta find it. There we go. Standing just like him next to his wife. Big old belly up, just like that. You know, he telling y'all to stay away from sin, but he can't stay away from coochie and church's damn chicken. John Gray, do you love coochie? The congregation or church's chicken more, John Gray? I need to know. Well, anyway, another thing that the mortgage company wants to know on your church in South Carolina is if you are going to pay them their damn mortgage payments. Now, this is what y'all got to understand. Powder Puff, we just gonna call him Powder Puff, all right? Kapow, because that, that belly is full of yeast and it's about to, he look like if you just stick a pin in that belly, it's just gonna pop in where all the sin, all the hook of pussy juice on his stomach, just gonna be flowing out everywhere, all over his expensive ass wife. Shout out to Aventa Gray. You sound like you expensive, Aventa. Mm hmm. Anyway. So John Gray is the protege of Joel Olstein. You know, that was his mentor, you know, because, you know, it's really good to have a mentor to move up. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers got shit to say about somebody that got a mentor. But what you got to understand is if you want to do it your way and think that you everything, and you know everything, bitch, do you, bitch. But at the end of the day, for people I heard that are progressing, they have mentors and they are somebody's protege. So anyway. John Gray was came up under Joel Osteen. Now, we know Joel Osteen, you know, praises the Lord on camera, but tells you if you niggas ain't got nowhere to stay and the whole city's flooding, you can't come in my church with your shit. So now, <clears throat> John Gray that went out to South Carolina to take over somebody else's church, he was supposed to take the church and the land and put the mortgage in his name. But he changed his mind once he got to South Carolina. So what he decided to do was say, you know what? I'm going to create another company, you know, another 501c3. So because, you know, them church people don't pay no damn taxes. Because, you know, if you really want to get rich in this world, you got to find a way to make money off of Negroes or get in the church. How many of y'all knew that? A lot of the pastors you see today is form of pimps, and a lot of the first ladies used to be selling pussy on the corners. I told you I wouldn't hold nothing back. Now, moving right along, he even got his ass out there to South Carolina, took over the church, decided to make a new company to take over the mortgage for the land. It gets real confusing and real muddled in the details, but long story short, he has not paid the mortgage on this church. The old people that used to pay the mortgage on the church had to come in and pay it just to settle the damn debt so the government wouldn't come in and take it. And now at the end of the day, we are looking at this man here who came up under the crook and fraud, allegedly, Joe Osteen, take his ass out to South Carolina to say he going to take over a church and his mortgage and payments, and he's not. So, John, you know when you had $200,000 to buy your wife a Venter, a Lamborghini back in 2016 or 2018, whatever the fuck it was, I a look back on my channel i did a video on it you know that was back when i didn't have the, not, the fancy camera and the lightings and i was in arizona and i was talking in the dark not knowing that when you black you need that light in your fucking face but anyway so john you done carried your ass out there to south carolina you know representing for black pastors everywhere i guess because a lot of y'all is pimps and crooks and hoes and you ain't paid the damn mortgage. What is you doing with the ties? Don't tell me you ain't had no money saved, John. What about that Lambo that you bought your wife? You couldn't sell that Lambo for the Lord in order to save the church or was it not worth it? Now, allegedly, John is about to pack his shit up and find another plot of land to scam, <laughs> scam I mean, you know, preach the word on. So, John, we want to know, is you going to pay that mortgage? I mean, the other people, the old people that used to own the shit paid it to keep the state from taking it. So now is you going to pay them back? Where is the Lambo? Is the Lambo, you know, church services on Sunday, right? And you always see the pastor, but they usually in the Escalade. I mean, where I'm from, I'm not going to tell you where the fuck I'm from, but where I am from, the pastor always got an Escalade on rims, blacked out car, blacked out windows, leather seats, all right? I ain't telling you what I think, I'm telling you what I know. So you pulling in with your wife in the Lambo, Worth $200,000. Meanwhile, the church got a lien on it. And that's okay with you. And these people are giving you their last mighty dollar, nickel, penny, and dime. But you got a Lambo sitting outside. Something's wrong with that picture. You mean to tell me you couldn't call your good, good girl Oprah up and come do another special just to get the money, the upfront money to pay this damn mortgage? Was this church? John, Jonathan, was this church? 
church not worth it to you? Was the Lord not worth you selling your Lambo, even though what you preach is that the Lord would give you another? So you don't believe that the Lord give it and he take it away? Maybe this was a test and you failed, bitch. So now at the end of the day, you have failed at your diet. You have failed at exercising. You have failed at being faithful to your wife because at the end of the day, you went on the reel a year or two back and said that when you was in the hotel with a hoe, Y'all weren't doing nothing but talking, but last time I checked, I don't know no man, no nigga from sea to shining sea. They get in a hotel with a hoe and don't fuck her, or don't get his dick sucked, or don't even get his ass ate, because yes, a lot of more niggas out here get their ass ate than what y'all know, and getting your ass ate don't make you gay, getting your ass ate just means you like your ass ate, but that's another story for another day. So John... You tried to tell us that you sat in the bed with the hoe and just talked to her. Then you said when you cheated with the hoe, which means you didn't want to just sit there and talk to her. You said that it wasn't you cheating with your body. It was, you know, you cheating with the boy version of you. So you big as hell as you is. You know, you are a fully grown man on the outside. You said you weren't cheating with your grown man. You was cheating with your little boy. No, we know you was cheating with your dick and that mouth and the fingers and everything else you put up in that hole. So at the end of the day, you cheat on your wife. You bought her a Lambo with the church's money. You didn't save anything or you didn't feel like the church of South Carolina that the white folks trusted you to take over was worth you fucking saving. So, John, I want you to answer to us. I want to see your finances. I need to see a bank statement and I need to know why you didn't save that damn mortgage, all right? That's all I got to say to you. Uh, it's a storm show. It's a storm show.